Every once in a while, a game comes along that redefines what a video game can be. And amongst all the action-packed violent shooting games and action games in my library, one game stands alone as truly special. A game about working at the border checkpoint in a fictional country that's basically Russia. In November 1982, after six long years, the great nation of Arstovska is finally opening its borders to the neighboring countries of Kolechia, Orbistan, United Federation, and others. The Arstovskan labor lottery has drawn your name, and you will be given a job in border security. Your family will be given a standard apartment to live in, and now you must walk to work for your first shift. The first thing you notice in this game is the crude graphics, almost like a budget NES title. The color scheme is ugly and cold. And how's the music? It's just the wind. Okay, so how does this game work? This is the line to pass through the checkpoint, and clicking the speaker on the booth will call in the first person. Here's our desk, with a guidebook that we'll be using frequently, and to the right we have our work area. We take out the guidebook and look at the rules of the day. Okay, every entrant must have a passport. Simple enough. And are Stoskin citizens only. So I guess the government is trying to be extra cautious on opening day. And wow, I guess that means citizens of this country haven't been able to pass through this checkpoint for the past six years. That's sad. We have a map of the continent, and clicking on a country will bring up that country's diplomatic seals, and the three cities where someone can legally be issued a passport. Alright, well, let's call in the first person. A man comes in and says, finally, I can return home. Let's look at his passport. He's from Rostovska, so we approve his entry. Hand him his passport, and he says thank you. Alright, that was easy. Let's call in the next person. A lady comes in with a nice coat and says, this checkpoint is smaller than I expected. Okay, kind of an unnecessary comment, but whatever. How about that passport? Oh, well, you're from Impor, not Arstolska, so I'm gonna have to deny you, sorry. Next in line, please. I have waited in this damn line since for eight hours. Okay, chill out, no need to be a prick about it, let's look at your passport. Oh, I'm sorry, we're not accepting Republians today. Next. Hello, Sonia Loramova. I see you're from Arstovska, so I'm gonna approve your passport and send you on your way. Next. This is going pretty well. This is easy. Who's this guy? It was a mistake to open this checkpoint. Hmm, what's that about? Alright. Next. Ooh, this lady is a little goofy looking. Alright, she's from Arstovska, so come on in. Have a nice day. Glory to Arstovska. Lawrence Hamilton from Republia. Sorry, not today, buddy. Dylan Bertofsky from the great land of Arstolska, you may enter. And that's the end of our first shift. So we have $30 in savings, 30 credits, and we had eight successful approvals and denials. And we get $5 for each one. Rent is 20 bucks, food is another 20, heat for 10, that leaves us with $20. But we started with 30 in savings, so we've actually lost money. On the right side, you can see the members of our family. Everyone is okay, and we need to keep them okay by continuing to feed them and keep them warm. We can choose to go a day without food or heat to save money for the next day, but that might not be wise for our first day here, so let's keep these checked for now. We're coming into our second day on the job, and after a successful opening of the border, we're now accepting people from other countries. Let's go, who's first in line? This guy is from Impor? Okay, come on in. Miss Jessica Barreto hands me her passport. She's from Antegria. Welcome to Arstolska. I'll just stamp your passport here and... Wait a minute. November 11th? Today is the 24th. This passport expired 13 days ago. What do I do? Well, I guess I would be justified in denying her. Or we can activate this new inspection button we have. We'll highlight the two pieces of information that don't match and ask her what's up. I know nothing about this. Well, I guess you're getting denied then, Jessica. Come back later with a current passport. Next. Alright, this lady is from Integria too. The expiration date is fine. I guess she's good to go ahead. Wait, what's this? A citation? For what? Invalid issuing city? Oh man, really? Let me check. Go to the map, country, she was from Integria, and the issuing cities are St. Marmoro, Glorian, and Outer Gross. And hers said Paradisna. So, yeah, that was my mistake. We'll put the citation away, it was just a warning, and we'll bring in the next person. Hey, a fellow Arstolskin. Expiration date looks good, issuing city is fine. Alright, come in, man. Everything looks fine on this end. Hello, Rebecca, Kolechia, date's good. Alright, go ahead. Next. Hello, handsome. 
You look bored. If you want good time, come see us. What? What is this? Oh. Oh, man. All right, I'll put this away for now. You're from Arstoska. Expiration date is fine. Okay, yeah, just go, please. Hello, Nivik Hutchinson from Republia. How are you, sir? It's been a nice day so far, hasn't it? Wait, what's happening? Is that guy climbing the wall? Can someone stop him? What's he doing? The day was cut short by a terrorist attack. Well, that's horrible. I had $20 left, I made $25 today, and I don't have enough money to pay for both food and heat. Well, guys, we're not eating today. You'll live. Back to work the next day, and understandably, there are some new safety precautions being taken. Anyone who isn't from Arstoska now needs an entry ticket. Not too complicated. Let's get going. Anna Mativi from Impor. All right, you can come in. Wait, I forgot to check the entry ticket. Okay, it's for today, so she's good. As a Hudsonska, where's your entry ticket? We're gonna use our inspection button to highlight the two things that don't match. Rule three, foreigners require an entry ticket, and the empty desk area where there's no ticket. Good, so she had the ticket. See, I would have been totally justified in denying her, but I gave her the opportunity to resolve the issue, and now she can come in. Next. Hey there. I can make you happy anytime. What's this? Oh, come on, I don't want another one of these. Take it back. Come on, take it back. All right, who are you? Yeah, yeah, Ava from Impor. Entry tickets for today. Okay, just go. Come to Pink Vice, ask for Ava. Okay, got it, next. This guy's from Orbistan. Wow, Orbistan passports are ugly as hell. This passport is expired. Denied, next. Date is fine, got an entry ticket. Okay, go, next. Date is fine, got an entry ticket, but that's not today's date, so let me ask about it. Maybe she has another ticket. It is my mistake. You're damn right, denied, next. This guy looks good, he's got an entry ticket for today. All right, get in, move along, I'm trying to get paid here, next. Citation, for what? Invalid gender? Oh no, this was a dude, but his passport said female. I have to check for that too? All right, I'll keep it in mind. Okay, here we go. Glory to Arstoska, the greatest country. Where's your passport, man? Rule number one, you gotta have a passport. Arstoska so great, passport not required, right? Get out of here, I don't have time for this. I got a family to feed. The shift is over and my son is sick and I don't have enough money to pay for his medicine. I could turn off the heat, I guess, but then maybe someone else will get sick, and I don't want to deal with that, so kid, tough it out. I need to work faster. I get $5 for every successful entry or denial, so we gotta move. Wait, what's all this? Our Stilskin citizens must show their ID card? Foreigners must secure and present a valid entry permit? Entry tickets are no longer sufficient? Refer to the audio transcript to correlate entrance statements? Hey, look, I don't have time for this. I'm getting bogged down in all these documents. Come on, first in line, please. Okay, the first person says she's visiting for two weeks. Marian Lovisca from Integria. The issuing city is fine. She's got an entry permit. The names on both documents look good. I gotta look for matching passport numbers. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Enter by the 12th of December, so she's got plenty of time. It says she's visiting for two weeks. Okay, okay, go. This guy's from Arstoska. He's got his ID card. The names match. What's this? I have to check his height and weight? 172 centimeters? Uh, yeah, that's about right. Weight, 72 kilos? Yeah, that's good. Okay, go, go, go. Christina Tomaseva from United Federation. She gave me an entry ticket. We're no longer accepting entry tickets, Christina. Where's your entry permit? Entry permit? I have ticket here. Let me through. Not gonna happen. Next. Erica Uvilia. Uh, yeah, yeah, looks good. Let's go. No! Incorrect visit duration response. It was two weeks. She said, a few weeks. Oh, that's tricky. A few is more than a couple, but that's a bit much, isn't it? Next. Okay, Marius, what's up? How are you today? Let's just check your documents and why is your name spelled differently on your entry permit? I have two different names. Hey, look at that, a fingerprint option. Could I have your fingerprints, please? Thank you so much. I'm just gonna check them against our national records here and just a moment. 
Well, it looks like the Prince match, but you have no second name on record, so I can't accept this, man. I'm sorry, I know it might be a mistake on our part, but I just can't risk my job, you know? Next in line, please. Oh, this guy again? You better have a passport. Okay, you do. Let's see. What the hell is this? Cobra Stan? One, two, three, four, okay, okay. Pre-approved? You're not fooling me with this crayon passport. Get out of here. Next. All right, hello. I'm running out of time. You're fine. Just go. No, I didn't check his height. Damn it. That's how I end my shift? My son is still sick and the rent is going up tomorrow? Great. I don't have enough money for everything, again. We're gonna pay for heat and medicine and everyone's gonna go hungry today, sorry. And well, you get the idea. This is the game. It gets more and more complex as you go. You can detain suspicious individuals. You can choose to break the rules based on your own moral decisions. You have to check diplomatic seals when representatives come to the country. You can accept bribes. If you don't take care of your family, they'll die and you'll go to prison for not taking care of them. You can choose to work against your country and then you'll probably go to prison too. There's 20 different endings. I've gotten eight and in seven of them, I'm in prison. The game has this oppressive nature to it, between the depressing color palette and the lack of music and the claustrophobic workspace where you just never feel comfortable working with all these documents. You start to feel the pressure to get these people through as quickly as possible because your expenses just keep piling up. There's so much to check that you start to feel less and less confident when you approve someone. You stamp the passport, give it back, and you wince in your seat as you just hope to God that you didn't miss something. It's hard to know who to recommend this game to. It's not like it fits into a specific genre, but there's something really interesting about it. It's one of those games that's great to have just so you can show people. It's pretty cheap and you should get it. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Indie Showcases. This is the fourth one I've done after Duskers, Into the Breach, and Dusk. I've got a bunch of other stuff on my channel like movie analysis videos, game reviews, Doom Eternal strategy, so check it out. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll have something else out soon.